Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will gonna talk about the alpha map in Revit. So actually we will use Dynamo for that and we will use some alpha map. Let's look at here. For example we have like alpha map and white and black color and some shape inside of that. Uh, immediately our panels doesn't matter what the parameter you are using to creating your alpha map for example I have the holes you can make the square holes triangle holes maybe the size maybe something like the rotating doesn't matter what the parameter you are using I'm using for example right now the holes it's following our alpha map let's say I want to use the other one let's say I want to use that one hexagons and as you can see the my patterns trying to replicate this alpha map so as you can see we have a lot of the my alpha map here you can do it what even uh, from the hand draw for example you're drawing something in photoshop and after that just loading here and as you can see it's following up your sketch so let's get started if you're interesting of this topic now let's go back to the Revit, as you can see I don't have on, on now on any project right now and as always I will start from the zero, so we will start from the nothing and we will create everything right now with you together. And as you understand we should first create our panels, let's create it, let's go back to the families, here we will find the new and we need to find here the metric curtain wall panel, because we will manipulate everything with the panels, so let's go back to the curtain wall panels, let's say ok, here we are, now we are inside our template and we will start from the messing, uh, let's go to the extrusion and let's create our extrusion. As, as you can see, uh, I just don't following the line because only after that I will use the align key and I will lock everything as I want. So let's lock it, let's lock this one and now I need dimension to create, to create distance, actually to create thickness. Let's create the thickness and we will call it panel thickness and let's make it uh, to doesn't matter we can leave it type 1 or instance let's make it instance maybe we won't change it later on who knows and let's say our thickness will be like 75 millimeter so let's say okay let's say okay and let's go back to the uh, exterior view now we are on the exterior view and as you can see our panel is uh, so small let's uh, now continue to till this uh, supporting line and lock it and also we will do the same thing with the bottom side let's do that and lock it done so now whenever you will change your size of your panel uh, your panel will follow them these supporting lines okay nice now let's go back to create and here we will find the reference line actually we need one more reference line because we should find our middle points so let's find our middle points and whenever we will change our panel we always will find our middle point why I need that because I will create now the void extrusion and I will do this cycle so let's make a cycle somewhere here let's select that and on the right side on under the properties you will find here that center mark visible let's say on and now you can always see where is the center of your the cycle let's use the align key and let's align with this middle point and let's align by this point so now uh, when you will say uh, change this mod you will see the magic whenever you're changing the size of your uh, panel it always will be on the middle I mean the hole but actually this hole not now not working why because actually the extrusion it's working only one side let's say it will be work on other side too so minus 250 250 let's go back to the 3d view and as you can see our hole is working whenever you will change it always will be work okay so awesome we did it but I forgot about one thing let's go back to the exterior view let's select our hole double click on that select our profile and let's create the radius I want to manipulate with my radius and let's call it radius and let's make it instance okay so we're done with that uh, let's
let's say okay we done with that and now whenever you're going to the properties you can change your radius immediately for example 600 millimeter let's do that and let's say okay as you can see now 600 millimeter pretty awesome okay let's leave it 600 millimeter and i will close all the windows what i need uh, i will leave on the exterior one and now i will create the new project let's create the new project new project and i will use for example architecture template and now i will create some uh, wall curtain panel let's say exterior gla glazing let's create it like 20 meters maybe so, 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 something like that let's go back to the 3d view and let's make it a bit bigger like that one this doesn't matter which one you will do that uh, but don't forget one thing uh, as many panels you have uh, as many resources your pc needed to calculate everything so uh, let's prepare all this thing i want to make uh, this these panels actually not fixed the distance. I want to make it fixed a fixed number. Let's make it fixed a fixed number, and let's make it like 25 by 25. Why not? And we will get the square one. So we did it. Now let's go back to the our family with our panel, and let's load it inside to the project. We done with that. Now let's I'll select this uh, pattern. I will go to the edit type. And now here under the curtain panel, panel, I will find family one. Actually, this is for calling the family one. Let's find it. Let's say OK. And now we will get our holes. And as I said, as you can see, our holes, it's so big for now, right? So what we're going to do, we have a lot of ways of what we can do. Uh, we can select everything like this. Right click and select everything in visible view, blah, blah, blah. And you can say like 300 millimeter only and everything will be all right. So this is also correct. You can do like that. And as you can see, we get the holes. Now it looks more correct. So now the time to the switch to the Dynama to create our mm, alpha map channel. So let's get start. We will go to the messing. Oh, we will go to the manage and here we will find Dynama. Let's wait till it's load. Now let's create the new project and here we are. Actually, we not will use any special add-ins as you can see on the left screen, on the my left screen. We will use only the vanilla one. It means if you're using Revit 2020, you no need download any special libraries. You can use the uh, existing one. And first thing what we should, uh, should do with that, let's go back. I will go back to the my... Mm, uh, to do my um, alpha maps ways locating hold on I just trying to find ways that locating right now uh, oh my god it's really hard okay so as you can see here is the my way with the all this um, images locating but I need to load it inside to Dynama how we can do that let's I'll copy this way and first I need file path let's write here then file and here is this as you can see file system okay let's browse it and as you can see here here and let's use it for example the hexagon why not so here is our hexagon and now we need taking this from this way the file so as you understand we need file from from path okay let's connect it done now we need read it so okay the pc understanding so this file we need and here you can find under this note you can find the way so and what she what the pc should do with this file uh it needs get image get image uh read from file read from file okay let's connect it and you cannot see anything because we need the watch images so this is this not only to check what's going on so let's use this not watch image and let's connect it and as you can see now dynamo showing us what inside of this not so everything now correct because we can see uh, the image what we using on the first stage right 
so everything correct now we can pixelate our image because uh, uh, pc will understand i mean dynamo will understand only by pixel what's going on on your image so let's say white color it's true black color it's false so by this way pc will understand where the, your holes should be, be smaller where your holes should be, be bigger so this is the difference that's why i'm using the alpha map so let's use the image pixel uh pixels uh, yes pixels no i say it from the y and x pixels okay so now we will connect our image so this is not that one uh, why is that give me a second aha here it is because here it's uh, look the difference here you should connect the color here you should connect the image actually we have output here the image and we should connect image to the image so this is the rule so this is wrong uh, we should use the image pixels they have the similar names i'm sorry let's connect image to the image and now i will say uh, how many panels i'm using let's check it out we are using 25 panels by 25 and let's write here 25 panels so to the x and to the y 25 by 25 let's check it out as you can see it's 625 panels so this is really a huge number and now we will do the magic we will use the color because our output it's color we will use the color brightness so the brightness will show us where is the false where is the true as you can see inside zero this is false one more than zero this is true as you can see this cool right okay we're done with that now we should uh, load our panels but before i will do that i can see the some numbers it's uh, like 0 0.9 something 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 let's make the math math around math round so i will use the uh, 45 I will connect my brightness to the number and I will use the some special node, let's say by two. And I will use it by digits. And now let's see what's going on inside. As you can see, we have only two digits after after the dots. So we have the float number with only two digits. So this is what I want. Uh, actually, let's make the more math. Uh, let's use the, let's say, um, math merge. Map two, okay, and let's connect the number to the mm, to the input value, the range minimum and maximum. Let's say the minimum it will be zero, the maximum it will be one because this is true. We have only zero and one, and our panel, uh, the big uh, when it will be zero, it will be three hundred millimeter, and when it will be uh, one it will be let's say 50 millimeter it's opening means let's connect this one to that one oh here I... oh sorry <laughs> this is one to the range uh this one to the target maximum this one to target minimum so only that one you should oh the one to here so now everything correct you can see no, i am I'm, I'm always mistaken because here is the minimum it should be 50 and maximum it should be f 300 actually we should first write the 50 and 300 but always i'm doing the some mistakes it's okay okay so let's back uh, to the some empty space and now we need select our model element so as you understand we need select select element so let's go back to the some selection uh, you can just click on that uh, category and you will see all the selection methods here we need select select element let's find it select or uh, select 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 element where is that select model element mm -hmm, it's here okay and now we need uh, all elements oh no not all elements we need curtain curtain panels curtain curtain panels 
Let's find it. By curtain panels. Curtain panels by element we need actually. By element is here. And let's let's now select our uh, curtain wall. Okay, we did it. And let's connect our element to the hosting panel. So this is doesn't doesn't work, won't work, right? So let's check it out. And the problem is actually this is my stupidness because uh, if you will see what we selected, we selected curtain grid line. We didn't select the wall because curtain panel. This is actually the wall category. So this is was my mistake. Just let's select it and let's try to find the wall. As you can see, it's wall right now. And as you can see, here is the wall. And now our curtain panel it's found everything. We found it. And now just one secret. Um, let let me I will show you. Now I, I should explain what's going on right now here. Now you can see here the list. List by ten. 25 I mean 25 uh, panels and there are 25 panels uh, actually 25 panels is going like that one line 25 panels second line 25 panels and on and on so as you can see here inside we have only one list we should separate it by 25 lists so 25 by 25 how we can do that? We should use list chop. List chop dot chop. Uh -huh, it's here. Let's connect our curtain panels to here, and we should use a let's say twenty five. I'm not sure. Let's check it out. Twenty five. Let's see. Uh -huh, I'm wrong. As you can see, we have here the twenty seven lists. This is not right. Let's say twenty six. And now everything alright. Why 26 is right? Because uh, actually the PC, I mean your machine, starting to calculating from the zero. So, and as you understand, this is uh, some uh, some mistaken for you. You did 25 panels, you starting calculate from the one, but your PC starting calculating from the zero, like this, zero, one, two, three. But you are calculating like one, two, three. So this is the difference. So. Now I have 25 lists and inside I have exactly 25 curtain panels. This everything right. So what we're going to do next? Next we should now connect our panels and our parameters. So this is pretty easy. We need set parameter. Set parameters. Set parameters by value name. Okay, let's connect our list to the element our value value to the value and our parameter name as you understand this is radius why it's the radius let's say I'll go back and I'll show you I will select only one panel and you will see here the radius so this is what I want actually here we have the mistaken because uh, we should use that thing because we should use only text now let's connect and let's see what will what we will have oh first i will save it always you should save it let's say this is will be alpha alpha map 2 and let's save it and i will save this project too we have the reason because we have 600 uh, panels and that will be get some problem with it with that we can get some problem alpha map number two let's say save it okay done we save it and now let's connect our code block to the our parameters as you can see everything working yes we have the sum uh mistaken because so uh, actually this is pixel 8 this is not our problem this is only because we're using the pixel 8 now our map it's everything clear but we need to play around with the uh mh pixelate so but i not will play with that i will say for example i will use this this alpha map right now and we get the cycle inside 
let's use some hard thing let's say this city skyline we have something why we have something because actually our pixels it's too big and this image it's actually i uh, have more detail let's say my name name of the, my channel and then as you can see this is some simple methods of the my my name of the my channel actually we should work see like that we can see nico but we cannot see the g it's okay uh and let's say we will use some hand draw pattern hand draw pattern and here you will see right now and as you can see the pattern is working also we can use for example this bitmap icon why not so it's not working at all because uh, actually here we have really huge pixels okay now you understand the principles how to create this kind of shapes and this is really interesting because you no need spend your own time to create really nice um, really nice maps or i mean um let's say images on your facade because you can use just alpha map to create some interesting shapes maybe rotating whatever you want just do it and play around with that uh, and you will get a really nice result all these files you will find as always below this video you can use you can use it you can um, copy it i don't know do whatever you want just play around with that maybe you'll find nice solutions by this method you also can change not only the parameters so like the holes you can change parameters like rotating like the color like the whatever you want the for example the size of the panels just play around with that for now it's finished, thank you guys for watching and see you next time.